Hildeberg, 2015. You'll never find a more wretched hive of scum and villainy. We must be cautious in Austria. Hello, hello, and welcome to this special Bilderberg edition of the InfoWords News Blitz. I am Info Gundam, live from Fever Region number three. Basically, basically the, well, the conference is already over, but that does not mean I will still be covering, covering articles that were basically coming from there. So basically, the one question that's should be on everybody's mind if you're new to this whole Bilderberg thing is Who the hell is Bilderberg? As a uh, Jim Tucker says. But basically, Spirit will be speaking. Speaking. He will actually be able to tell us who these sick, disgusting piles of feces are. So without further ado, take it away, Mr. Uh, Tucker. First heard about Bilderberg in 1975, and I said, I, I don't believe it. It's not possible. Who in, who in hell is Bilderberg? I spent 20 happy years with metropolitan newspapers. All the wires are clicking at my ear. That could not happen without me knowing about it. And the thing that first impressed me most was calls in 1957 by the late, great Westbrook Pegler, a widely syndicated columnist. He wrote two lengthy columns about how approximately 100 leaders of international finance, heads of state, high public officials were meeting behind armed guards to close doors on Jekyll Island, sealed off. What are these powerful internationalists doing? And why is it so secret? Why does it have armed guards outside? Why is it sealed off? The newspapers totally ignore it. Not a word. Total blackout in the United States. Since then, I've never stopped pursuing Bilderberg or the whole international gangster organization led by Rockefellers and Rothschilds as they manipulate the world for their own selfish interest. Well, Bilderberg assumed that name in 1954 at their first meeting as Bilderberg at the Bilderberg Hotel. It's a little bit like Shakespeare's As You Like It. They say to Shakespeare, what do you want to call this book? And he says, As You Like It, meaning whatever you want to call it. And they thought it was dictation, so one of the, uh, his plays is called As You Like It, and the title has nothing to do with the play. So that's how the Bilderberg came out of their name. Now, they had been meeting for half a century. The moneyed class had been meeting. But they decided they have to meet systematically every year, uh, well planned in advance. In, uh, in addition, maybe uh, other smaller meetings throughout the year. 120 of the world's most powerful men, heads of state from Europe, high officials, of the United States government, Treasury, White House, state, defense, they're setting the world agenda now. The reason they want secrecy is because they're doing evil. Evil is done under the cover of darkness. Good works are done in the sunshine. Bilderberg was founded by uh, David Rockefeller and the Rothschilds in Britain and Europe. Uh, they're still uh, the main powers. Baron Evelyn D. Rothschild, a male, uh, attended for many years. Rothschild is still represented. You'll see them on the list of participants. Somebody representing the Rothschild group. They are the main powers uh, behind Bilderberg. The Dutch World Shell is part of the Queen's uh, fortune. Uh, of course, the Rockefellers have, have always had heavy oil interest. That was the original source of the of uh, their old money from the old man. Bilderberg is making great progress toward the world government. They have uh, created a super state in Europe called the European Union. They are intent on creating a Western Hemisphere Union called the American Union. NAFTA is to be expanded into every country in this hemisphere. As NAFTA expands, it will take on the role of the American Union. And only an educated, informed public can stop them in their tracks. Thank you, Mr. Tucker, for that lovely, lovely uh, notion, sir. The late Jim Tucker, folks. Good man. 
covered those sick freaks for almost 20 or 30 something years. And now, and now they're running scared. But enough about that. Here's the first article of the day here. And it's an article written by Paul Dougal Watson. It is titled, Guardian Journey Gets Midnight Raid by Bilderberg Police. Underneath it, it says, It was like a scene from Starlight 7. The security lockdown surrounding the 2015 Bilderberg Group Conference reached a new intensity last night when London Guardian journalist Charlie Skelton received a midnight visit from police who entered his hotel room, demanding to see his papers and inspecting his vehicle while while shining a searchlight in his face. And there's a there's a video here of his description here as well. After traveling through two checkpoints showing his papers, Skelton arrived at his hotel only to realize that he had left his laptop in his vehicle. When Skelton went out, retrieve, went out to retrieve the vehicle, he was confronted by three armed police who again demanded to see his ID and and enter before entering his rented lodge. You see what we're going under now? This is what's going to be like, folks. Exacerbated with the presence of officers who remained for over 15 minutes, minutes Skelton decided to strip down and have a shower. When he emerged, the police was still in his lodge. I mean, folks, you can take a look at the uh, pictures here. I mean, he goes on to say, while journeys at the sea center were pampered, given goodies, baths, free halls, free food halls, and relaxing, relaxing rooms, reported at Billberg 2015 in Austria has been under constant surveillance and harassment. I mean, basically, that's what it is. I mean, I mean, those guys were trying to scare any reporters that were basically trying to basically cover Billberg. And that's all it is. It's a scare tactic. And basically, folks, we're not so sure that bas basically that we have a, uh, they don't want, not actually what happened to Copen, Copen and Denver. They were pretty much pissed off. And basically, now they say, okay, that's it. We're putting a six mile radius around the whole building. I mean, if there was a whole bunch, if a whole bunch of celebrities, poly, well, celebrities, baseball players, etc., they'll be, uh, whatchamacallit. Reporters in every bush and helicopters all over the place saying what are they doing there in secret meeting in secret. But for the Bilderberg, nope, nothing, nada, zippo. Anyway, here's a video here by Infowars.com. The title is called, Italian Parliament Representative Speaks Out About Bilderberg Elites. Underneath it is the subtitle, Lawmakers Appeal That No Mainstream Media Coverage Covers the Event. And uh, here's the... Uh, article here for you to basically read. Oh, just listen to it. In Italy, for a private channel, last up. And why do you think they invited a member of the media here if they don't want journalists here? Uh, because the, for, for control us, for, uh, for speak about uh, the thematic and uh, to, to, uh, no. to control the narrative? Oh, yeah. That's what we say in, in the United States, control the narrative. So, my opinion is that they invite these media people here to give them the agenda. Yeah. So then they can figure out how to dole it out to the people. Yeah, yeah. And say, like a dole. You know, this is what we want you to say, but this is what we're really going to do. But yeah. We're going to say it's good for everybody when it's horrible for everybody. Yeah, them. yeah. The, the media speak about uh, uh, this is, uh, yeah. This is no. Uh, go to yeah, my, yeah, my, my opinion, not the other opinion uh, that you find on the internet. No, no, um, don't, and don't, uh, uh, don't say that, uh, uh, think, uh, speak, uh, the, the other, uh, don't so. speak, don't speak bad of the Bilderberg. Yeah, no, and don't speak of the Bilderberg. By the chemtrails, yeah, they were shooting them out yesterday. Uh, and so, uh, uh, 
Italy is like a big boot. Where where is your area of representation? Uh, um, no, of uh, my area of representation, but I uh, stay in Rome. I live in Rome. Right. Uh, so you're you're because I work in Rome and I live in Rome. Okay. All right. Thank you. Uh, do you have a website or anything you want to plug? A website? Uh, no, I don't have a website. Uh, my Facebook uh, uh, vegan uh, in Parliament. I am vegan. Uh, okay. Because, uh, vegano in Parliament. All right, that's enough of that. Basically, folks, you heard what this politician to said. He was here to speak about the Bilderberg Group. I mean, he's a lot of interest and stuff. He even said that there's a was one member of the media, media going there. I mean, basically, they they've Still got him under lock and key, so you know. But what else I want me to say? Okay, folks, this is the last article of the day here, and it's an article written by Kirk Nemo. The article is titled "Bilderberg Kingpin Henry Kissinger Admits ISIS Gets Weapons from U.S." The title says that basic underneath it says. Disagrees with Rand Paul on the strategy against terrorist army. If the you funded them, you maggot! Stupid, crazy son of a gun. Burbank Steering Committee member and architect of a global order, Henry Kissinger, told Fox News on Wednesday the United States is responsible for arming ISIS. Oh, really? No, duh. I mean, there was, there was an article that came out a couple of, a couple of weeks back in April saying, saying the same thing. Kissinger did not say that the army of the United States was deliberate, even though it was deliberate. In March, Qasim al Jahari, the head of the Bashar organization in Iraq, told Parliament he had evidence had had evidence the U.S. has deliberately arming the Islamic State, according to report carried by the Islamic language Al Jazeera Al Mesra uh, no, no. Infowars.com reported on March 5th Iranian media and other sources have claimed on that at least two occasions US military aircrafts dropping weapons in in areas held by the Islamic State the Iraqi intelligence sources is re relevant that the United military has been Airdropping several aided cargoes for ISIL, ISIS, or whatever the heck, heck their name in it, terrorists, to help them resist the siege led by Iraqi army, security, and the popular forces. Forces Iraq intelligence claimed in December. I mean, basically, there's more here, but to be honest with you, we already knew that already. They're just coming out and openly admitting it and and Kissinger's busy throwing it in your face. I mean, I mean, the heavens will part, and basically, and the heaven, the heavens will part up and rejoice, and everybody will be very happy. To see that this sick son of a gun is dead, along with Soros. And to be honest with you. I mean, you can just read the rest of the article here. Basically, we already knew that already. But now they're just coming it out and just literally throwing it in our face. So there. Well, that's all the articles I have for you today. If you'd like to read more about these articles, please go to theinfowars.com or businessnet.com. Where you can find hundreds and hundreds of articles like this that I have for you today. This is the InfoWars News Blitz. Please like, subscribe, and donate. This is the end of the uh, Bilderberg edition. And I hope that we can actually stop these crooks. Pray for peace. Pray for discernment. Pray for, well, everyone to make it through this. Bye-bye, everyone.